Harry Maguire solution is found as Man United suffer Matai's delict transfer issue. Harry Maguire has fallen out of Eric Ten Hag's first-team plans at Manchester United, and a former Red Devil has urged the club to sign Matthijs de Ligt as a replacement. Manchester United should offload Harry Maguire and pursue an obstacle-laden deal for Matthijs de Ligt, says Louis Saha. Since his blockbuster £80 million move from Leicester in 2019, Maguire hasn't hit the heights he promised for United. Injuries and poor form have since seen him fall out of favor at Old Trafford. Maguire was intent on staying and fighting his place under Eric Ten Hag last summer when a £30 million move to West Ham neared completion. And with his contract expiring next year, his time at United could come to an end soon. Saha believes that when Maguire is given a new lease, De Ligt should be the target. However, a deal for the Dutchman is in doubt after Bayern Munich halted their attempts to sign a replacement. Fresh start will be the best for Harry Maguire, Saha told CSDB.gg. With Maguire, we know his situation, and it hasn't been easy. Sometimes a fresh start is what players need. It could be the best for everybody in this situation. West Ham could return for Maguire, but have already brought in Max Kilman this window, while OGC Nice's £34 million man Jean-Claire Totebo is also tipped to arrive. A deal seems unlikely, and Maguire could be forced to run down his current deal and depart next summer for free. De Ligt can play that Maguire's role, Saha added. He is a confident player and a leader in his own right, but he has struggled to maintain his form for the years since leaving Ajax. Having said that, I think the Premier League is a good fit for him and it will provide him that extra motivation to get back to his very best. There is also the surprise element of having him come from abroad, so strikers might not know how to play against him. However, multiple hurdles now stand in the way of a potential United coup for De Ligt. Bayern do not have a replacement for the Dutchman after pulling out of a deal for Bayer Leverkusen defender Jonathan Ta. Bayern are demanding £42 million for De Ligt and would have put some of these funds towards German international Ta. However, with Xabi Alonso's defender not convincing the club's hierarchy, Vincent Company may have little choice but to keep De Ligt. The Dutchman is also being investigated on suspicion of a hit and run near Bayern's training ground. Bild claims the 24-year-old collided with a parked car where a witness recognized the him and contacted police. The German outlet also claims that De Ligt's car was towed and impounded after he allegedly simply drove away. If he is found guilty, a fine or prison sentence could await the Netherlands International. Harry Maguire has found himself sidelined under Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag, with the defender increasingly out of favor as Ten Hag reshapes his squad. The 31-year-old, who once commanded a central role in United's defense, has seen his minutes reduced and his role diminished in recent matches. With Maguire's future at Old Trafford now in question, former Manchester United star Rio Ferdinand has stepped forward with a bold recommendation. Ferdinand has urged the club to consider signing Matthijs De Ligt as a replacement for Maguire. De Ligt, currently playing for Bayern Munich, is a highly regarded defender known for his impressive performances and leadership. In a recent interview, Ferdinand praised De Ligt's qualities and expressed his belief that the Dutch defender would be a perfect fit for United's defensive needs. Matthijs De Ligt is exactly the type of player Manchester United needs to strengthen their defense, Ferdinand stated. His talent and experience would be a great addition to the squad. As the transfer window progresses, Manchester United now faces the challenge of addressing their defensive issues. With Maguire's role uncertain and Ten Hag's defensive strategy evolving, the club may look to De Ligt as a potential key signing. While Bayern Munich would likely demand a substantial fee for De Ligt, the call for such a transfer highlights the shifting dynamics within United's defense and the club's ambition to strengthen their squad. As the situation unfolds, all eyes will be on whether United will act on Ferdinand's advice and pursue De Ligt in the upcoming transfer window.
Manchester United have reportedly found a solution to the ongoing issue with Harry Maguire's place in the team, but the club's plans to sign Matthijs de Ligt have hit a snag. With Eric Ten Hag making it clear that Maguire no longer fits into his defensive plans, United had set their sights on De Ligt as a potential replacement. The Dutch defender, currently at Bayern Munich, was seen as the ideal candidate. Otherwise, Manchester United target outlines transfer stance amid Atletico Madrid interest. David Honko has been linked with a move to Old Trafford and has addressed his future. Manchester United-linked defender David Honko has outlined his transfer stance as reports continue to ramp up over his future at Feyenoord. The Slovakian international defender is currently preparing for the new Eredivisie season with the Dutch Giants, but he has been linked with a move to a number of European football's top sides this summer. The 26-year-old has been linked with a move to Liverpool and a reunion with former manager Arna Slot, while a report in The Athletic claimed United are considering a move given his ability to play at centre-half and left-back. However, it is believed to be interest from Atletico Madrid that is most advanced, with manager Diego Simeone reportedly making a move for Hanko, one of his top transfer priorities this summer. Hanko, though, has hit back at suggestions that interest has turned his head and he has outlined his stance on his future, insisting it would not be a punishment if he stays at Feyenoord beyond this summer. Atletico Madrid? I didn't like how the media said my head was turned because of the salary Atleti would have offered. That's not true, Hanko said. I already have a great contract here. For me, it's not about the money. I definitely understand that Feyenoord is demanding more money from Atleti. This isn't something in my hands and I can't do anything about that. It's not a punishment if I stay at Feyenoord. I love this club. Hanko joined Feyenoord from Sparta Prague two seasons ago and has won the Eredivisie title and Dutch Cup during his two years in Rotterdam. He is also a league champion in Czechia and Slovakia, has Serie A experience with Fiorentina, and was a key part of the Slovakia side that pushed England to the brink in the last 16 of Euro 2024 this summer. United have signed young defender Lenny Yoro this summer, but could sign a total of three new central defenders in this window. They have also been linked with moves for Bayern Munich defender Matthijs de Ligt and Everton star Jared Branthwaite. In the midst of a bustling summer transfer window, Manchester United found themselves entangled in a complex negotiation involving David Honko, a promising defender from Sparta Prague. The club had identified Honko as a key target to strengthen their back line, but the deal was not straightforward. Atletico Madrid had also expressed keen interest in the player, adding an extra layer of competition. David Honko, a formidable presence on the field, had been the subject of intense speculation. With both Manchester United and Atletico Madrid vying for his signature, the defender faced a pivotal moment in his career. Known for his composed defending and leadership qualities, Honko was aware of the importance of his decision. In a press conference that captured the attention of football fans and media alike, Honko addressed the swirling rumors. I am honored to have interest from two such prestigious clubs, he said with a calm demeanor. Both Manchester United and Atletico Madrid are exceptional teams, and the prospect of joining either is exciting. My focus right now is on continuing my performances with Sparta Prague and making the best decision for my future. The interest from Atletico Madrid, known for their aggressive style of play and recent successes in La Liga and the Champions League, had Hanko weighing his options. On the other hand, Manchester United, with their storied history and ambitious plans for the future, presented a compelling opportunity in the Premier League. Manchester United's manager, David Beckham, was eager to secure Hanko's services. The club had been under pressure to reinforce their defense after a mixed season, and Hanko was seen as a crucial piece of the puzzle. Beckham's strategy was to present United as the best environment for Hanko's development and success. Meanwhile, Atletico Madrid's manager, Diego Simeone, was also making a strong case. Known for his tactical acumen and ability to mold defenders into world-class players, Simeone promised Hanko a central role in his plans for the upcoming season. 
As the transfer window neared its end, the battle for Honko's signature intensified. Both clubs made their final pitches, highlighting the unique benefits of joining their respective teams. Hanko, despite the pressure, remained thoughtful and deliberate in his decision-making process. In the final twist of the saga, Hanko announced his decision at a press conference that drew global attention. After careful consideration, I have decided to join Manchester United, he declared. I believe that the club's vision and the opportunity to play in the Premier League align perfectly with my career goals. I'm excited for this new chapter. Meanwhile, 